welcome back to my channel. I know I'm a little close in today. It's just because I am going to be doing a first impressions kind of a try on haul with you guys. I stopped at Shoppers last night and picked up just a few goodies and I wanted to share them with you on camera. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, welcome and please subscribe if you like what I do. If you like my videos <laughs> and I'm sorry my hair looks like a mess I thought I would do the video first and then do the or maybe I should do an intro after Ooh, we'll see what happens guys we'll see anyways starting it off I've already put my like my the base of my face down I use the wet n wild photo focus I'll actually just link everything down below I tried to use almost all drugstore that's kind of the point of today's video and right now, and I did also do my brows, so I did my face and my brows because I don't have anything new to try for them. And I'm just going to be priming my eyes with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This just eliminates any redness I have on my eyes. Once in a while I have an eczema patch on this one and it just helps make it less noticeable. Anyways, so let's start with the face. I have a few things. Most of this is actually from the brand Essence. If you've never heard of that, it's a really affordable brand. I find it at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. You can find it at Ulta in the US, I think. That's the only place I know of. Probably at some of the drugstores too, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to start off with this guy right here. This is brand new to me. This is the Essence Sub Club Matte Bronzing Powder for Lighter Skin. Honestly, it's pretty light. It kind of reminds me of the light version of the... Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, so I'm hoping this is going to show up on my skin. I'm just using an angle brush from Wet n Wild, but if you see this, there's so much kick up when you dip your brush in here, so use a really, really light hand, and I'm just going to be kind of warming up my face perimeters and hollowing out my cheekbones. Okay, so it's pretty noticeable. It's still noticeable. It's not overwhelming, though, so it's a pretty color. It's a little more orange than I'm used to. I'm really into like the really ashy bronzers, I would say, to create more of a shadow, but this is pretty. I'm liking it so far. Just around the perimeters of my forehead. It's looking just like kind of a darker version of my skin tone. Oh, I don't know. It's like, it's working and blending really nicely, but the color's a little weird. I think I would have probably liked the darker one better, even though I'm not like super dark in skin tone. Um, let's see what we're looking like up close right now. Okay, so it looks pretty natural to be honest. Like I think it does look just like a shade deeper, like I have a tan in those spots. But I like it. It's not too, too orange. If it was any more orange than this, I would probably have a little bit of a struggle with it, but I think I'm liking it. I'm just using it to kind of create the shadows and the warmth around my face. I think it warmed up my face really well. But there is a lot of kick up. Like in this pan right now, there's a lot. So we're just going to shut that. But this guy retails for $4.99. It's in the shade 01 Natural. And yeah, you got a lot of product in here. This is 12 M's. Milliliters? What does M's stand for? <sighs> I should have went to university. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, next up, I'm going to go in with a blush. I don't have a highlight. Couldn't. I didn't want to pick up the Essence Pure Nude, but I might use a color out of the palette I'm going to be using. So for blush, I picked up the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade 01 Satin Coral. This looks really pretty, but... Let's see what happens when I dip my brush in. Okay, same thing, you guys. A lot of kick up. So I'm just tapping that in really easily. And I'm just using my Sephora 55. And I'm going to bring this a little bit more concentrated on the lower parts of my cheeks. Okay, that's pigmented. Did you see that swipe that just kind of went straight onto my skin? Okay, so I'm happy it blends out easy, easily or else that would have just doomed my whole look. It is so pretty. That is such a really pretty flush of blush flush of blush. <laughs> okay kids, like I said, I think I really like the blush. A lot of kick up, but it's a really pretty color and I like how it applied to my face. Anyways, for eyes, we are going in with this eyeshadow palette I picked up. This is Essence All About Roses. They did have All About Bronze, but I didn't really 
like the colors. These are really cool. This reminds me of um, Beauty Marks from MAC. But we'll see. There's some mattes in here. They all kind of look a little bit satiny. So first things first, I am just going to take uh, like a fluffy crease brush and this like lightish shimmery shade and just kind of see if that applies as a highlight. Nope. Okay, that's very white. Okay, it kind of highlight. It highlights, but it's it's very white toned. If you had any lighter skin than me, don't take your chances, girl. I mean, any darker skin than me. Oh gosh, this is intense. So yeah, that's just it's very iridescent, surprisingly. really iridescent under the brow you guys <laughs> maybe I made a mistake on that one anyways all right so we're gonna see what we can get into using my crease brush I think I'm gonna start with this mid-tone shade here it looks like a good transition shade I will say there's not a lot of kick up in these which is surprising to me considering how the other powders just performed so I'm gonna be taking this right into my crease oh it's a really really pretty shade it's perfect transition shade. So just go ahead and blend that back and forth in on both creases. All right, next up, I'm dipping into this shade a little bit and just mixing it with this so I get kind of a, a little bit of a lighter shade. And tapping off any excess and bringing that into kind of like the inner parts of the crease and blending it out. Honestly, guys, I have not even thought about the look I'm doing with this, so I'm going in a little bit blind. Now I'm just dipping back into this shade only and just kind of working that back into the deepest parts. So next up, I am going to just be taking a little bit more of a concentrated crease brush and I'm going to take this, ooh, do I want, I want this darker shade and I'm going to mix it with this shade a little bit so it's not super dark. These all feel very like suede-like. Does that make sense? Anyways, I'm going to just apply this to my inner corner and into the deepest part of the outer half of my crease. It's not as dark as I want. I thought it was going to be, so I'm just dipping into the darkest shade now, alone. Ooh, that's pretty. It's nice and smoky. So, kind of doing the exact same thing on the other eye. Taking my big fluffy crease brush again, I'm dipping back into the shade and just kind of blending it all in. These are blending really surprisingly well, you guys. Next up, I'm just going to be taking a eyeshadow brush and I think I'm going to take this shade down here and put this on the lid. It looks pigmented. It's like a light, light, light iridescent lavender. Oh, this is pretty. Oh yeah, I really like that, if you guys can see that. I'm just kind of packing it on a few times just because I'm so used to like glitter or something on my eyelids that this feels a little naked for me. Okay. And then I am going to be taking just a little smudger brush and I am going to smudge some of this and this shade on my lower lash line. I'm starting with the lighter one and just kind of going in. It's Monday right now where I am, where, what the day I'm filming this and I have the day off and I'm so excited. Me and Jupiter are going to go to the park and we're going to do so many fun mom and daughter things. Mom and puppy dog things. Ooh, that looks pretty. And I am just going to blend that out because I'm a blending fiend. This is what the eyes look like right now. And I am going to just do my eyeliner off camera. And then we'll come back because I have a mascara to test out for you guys that I have not seen anywhere. And we're back, babe. So I just added on some eyeliner, some liquid liner on the top. And I forgot I was doing just drugstore, so I used the Lancome one, and it was pissing me off because it bothers me. Something about that eyeliner just doesn't do it for me. Anyways, this is the mascara I'm going to be testing out today. This is CoverGirl Total Tease. It's the one, it, this is in collab with Katy Perry, again. So it's for full plus long plus refined lashes. And girl, let me show you this brush. The packaging's kind of cute. But you guys are going to be like, what the fuck? I'm going to show you this brush. What? It has like these weird little nubbins on one side and 
I don't know, we'll try it. <laughs> so I'm not going to be wearing false lashes in this video, I'm just going to be trying this mascara. So, let's see here. Oh wow! Do you guys see that? Look how big those- Oh, these- this is really lengthening, you guys. So I did both of my eyes with this. I still don't see a use for the little nubbin. I kind of tried to use it to get like really into my eye, like my little inner corners. And it was okay for that, but this stuff is super lengthening. If you are not super into volume and you really want that length, I would try this out. I'm impressed. I don't say that often. And I'm just quickly going to take um, this light pinky shade once more. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner just to finish up this look. This is really pretty. These are really pretty shadows, you guys. This also retailed for $4.99, and the blush was $3.99. So $4.99 for this many shades of shadow that I'm going to say is performing pretty well. I like this more than those CoverGirl ones they came out with. So, yeah. Anyways, last thing. Ooh, Jupiter wants in. Be right back. <sighs> okay, I'm back. I just had to clean all the mud off my puppy's paws. But I have one more thing that's super cool from the drugstore to try out with you. And I know it's going to be a little bit excessive for this look. But I found a matte blue lipstick from Essence, you guys. Um, I'm so excited about this. It's one of their matte, matte, matte lipsticks in Vibrant Shock. I don't know if that's the color. But the number is 12. So this was, I think, like $2.49 or something. And I'm going to be using it with my MAC Technical Liner in Earthline. I know this isn't like, this is kind of weird. This is an eyeliner, but this is usually what I use with my blue or gray lipsticks. So I'm going to see if it works, but it is not as blue toned as the lipsticks. So we'll see. I'm just going to start by outlining my lips, obviously. Did you guys see that Tati reviewed that like lip suction thing? It was like $140 or something. I want it. I just want to see what my lips would look like big because I hate how small my lips are. Also, when James did it with her to like see the results, I like was crying laughing. So funny. I love Tati. If any of you guys are a Tati watcher, please like this video or comment below. Let me know. Or let me know any like other YouTubers you guys love. I always love to watch new people. Okay, so I did a really light layer of this, but we'll see. And I'm going to be using the blue now. I'm going to put a little bit on just with my hand, and then I'm going to use a lip brush because... Okay, are you guys seeing that? Hello, pigment. <laughs> so the darkness of this liner kind of is bringing the brightness of this down a little bit, but... I think it's looking pretty. So let me just go in with a lip brush. Just get these corners. If you guys can hear Jupiter munching on her food in the background, sorry, but mom's gotta eat, all right? Okay, let me put my hair up and I'll be back to show you the final result. Oh, hey love, so these are the results from the makeup. I didn't straighten my hair or anything, I just kind of pulled it down so it is a little weird right now. But I wanted to show you guys how everything kind of came together and looked. I am a huge fan of this lipstick. It is, it's not like matte and it will transfer like, so that was a very light kiss but it will transfer. But I'm going to say like I'm really impressed with these shadows and how they blended. I'm super obsessed with this mascara for lengthening. I think this would be awesome to add to your favorite like volumizing mascara and it would really like separate your lashes and keep them really long at the same time. The I would say like this palette here for $4.99 if you are on a budget and you want to try some new things, try this. Holy man. And it, I kind of like how it gives you a good range of mattes and there's, there's only a few shimmers in here. I really am sad that I didn't play out with this shade today, but look how pigmented that is. So that would be beautiful if you did try that out. It's really beautiful. Um, all in all, for me today, the blue lipstick at, 
lipstick at the drugstore was probably one of my favorite finds. Same with that eye palette. The blush was beautiful. I don't have anything bad to say except for the bronzer was a little bit orange. Um, I don't think it looks terrible on my skin, but it is a little bit more orange than I'm used to. But yeah, all in all, I would say today, like that haul was a good one. Let's see. So I actually do have the prices here for you, so we all know. Um, do, do, do. Okay, so the Essence blush was $3.99. Oh, I did get one other thing that I left out to try. So this is a brow gel, but I don't think this will make a huge difference. I left it out for this video, but... I just kind of like trying to find really good affordable brow gels because my favorite one is the Anastasia one and it's pricey if you guys, as all of you people are probably know. So that's that. It's It feels really, really wet. So <laughs> that did nothing for you. Anyways, the brow gel was $2.99. Okay, the lipstick was a little bit more expensive than I thought. It was $4.49, but still really decent. Um, the CoverGirl mascara was $6.99. The eyeshadow, this thing was not $4.99, it was $5.99. And then the powder bronzer was $4.99 as well. So I think that's a really good price for a lot of those things. I'm super impressed and happy with how this look turned out. I'm in love with this blue lipstick. It looks really good with the um, MAC liner, so I'm happy about that. And yeah, that's all I have to say today. Um, this is my first video of the day, so getting it out of the way. And I hope you babes have a lovely, lovely week. I guess it's we're at the start of a new week now. Um, yeah, and if you have any suggestions for videos, let me know down below. And please subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. If not, why are you watching? I don't know. Um, and I hope you babes have a great week.